Welcome back fellow problem solvers. Hope you guys are doing well. So yes, transformation. Can you believe it? In mathematics we also have transformation. How a shape can be transformed in various ways. Stay tuned for more. Share, like and subscribe. Good day fellow problem solvers. Hope you hope you're doing well. So yes, transformation. What that is. Today we're looking at the introduction of transformation. Remember, this is all mathematics. Okay, so let's stick to with our concept. So first of all, what you're looking at over here, this is called the Cartesian plane. You would remember I referred to this uh, in my previous videos regarding graphs. This is our playing field. On this playing field, all of what we're going to do will take place. Okay, so important thing to notice with this is what is the origin, okay? If you refer to origin in geology, in geology, we talk about where something begins, right? In mathematics, we're actually looking at the origin right here. This is where the X and the Y axis intersect. Okay, so please take note of that. So, that is what the origin is. Right where they intersect. That is the coordinates 0 and 0. Okay, now... We're going to look at various things. Now, again, on this playing field, we're going to look at a topic called uh, translation. And it does nothing to do with language. So that is shifting of position. We will look at rotation. It's exactly what it says. It will rotate around the central point. Reflection, and so on and so forth. But first of all, I would like to just uh, point out the following. Okay. The Cartesian plane is made up of horizontal lines and vertical lines and that would be how we will describe our motion and we'll talk more on this with translation but I want to point this out we will move things horizontal so it will move horizontally and vertically okay so if we take something anything let's take this coordinate right there and it moves to another position then we'll look at this as a horizontal and a vertical uh, movement okay so let's say for instance our coordinate our very first coordinate is a and let's say minus four and three what this tells us is that this coordinate A will be where the horizontal, the X coordinate is negative 4. That means on this line and where it intercepts the line where Y is equal to 3, which is right over here. Okay, so we'll be looking at a coordinate right over there. Okay, now I tell you, okay, it moves... To a new position the new position we still call a but we call it a accent that means it's been transformed in some way so now let's say it moved to minus one and let's say uh, make it five okay now i'm going to ask you to go from a negative four to negative one we're back on the Cartesian plane from negative 4, this line to negative 1. How many units did we have to add or subtract? You can see 1, 2, 3. We had to add 3 units. Okay, so technically our rule was whatever the x coordinate was plus 3. That was our rule. Okay, this is our rule. This is the transformation that we're describing. But now let's look at the y. We had a 3. Now it goes to a 5. So it goes 2 units up. So our rule there is whatever the y coordinate was plus 2. So can you see? It's a, it's a shifting of position. So we go from a, negative 4, 3, all the way to negative 1, 5. So it goes to this position, right? It's not a vertical or horizontal tra translation on its own, but it's a combination of the two. So that's important. If 
for you to remember. So, what is important? Origin, right there in the middle. Okay, that's where the y axis and the x axis intercept. How do we translate or move coordinates around? By using a horizontal translation and a vertical translation. And the combination of these two will help us to give the final coordinates, but also the rule. Okay, let me do one more example just quickly. Let's say B was 1 and 5. Okay, right, 1 and 5, that's where it is right there. And we say, okay, how, what, how will it look like? What will B's new coordinates be? currently unknown, if we say it moves 3 units left and it moves 2 units down. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got B as 1 and 5. Now it moves 3 units left, so it's 1, 2, 3. So its new coordinate there is negative 2. So you will see here B is at a negative 2. And let's look at the Y coordinate, it is at 5, but it moves 2 units down, so it's 1, 2. So the new coordinate there is 3. So we've got a negative 2 and a 3. So can you see this is also a way in which these questions can be stated. So this is the introduction to transformation. Stay tuned for more.